Welcome to That's Gonna Be Hot, a show about hot sauces and other spicy foods and snacks. I'm your host George and I'll be taste testing sauces and other snacks and rating them on four categories. Flavor, intensity, versatility, and length of the burn. Today I am very excited to be trying out the Spicy Shark Megalodon Carolina Reaper Hot Sauce. Uh, I think I've said it before, Jaws is one of my top two favorite movies. Uh, I'm very excited to do a shark themed hot sauce. Um, they are from New England. I'm not going to try to do a New England accent, but they say it is wicked hot. They give it five fins. I'm going to say this uh, says, eat the heat, savor the flavor. It says the megalodon was imposing enough to give dinosaurs nightmares in its day. This five alarm sauce has a sweet cherry start with the blazing finish of the Carolina Reaper. So, yeah. Gonna have a little bit, gonna have a little bit of heat to it. Um, what I did this week, I said I'm gonna do a burger and kind of do a little bit of a, a dipping sauce like I did last week. Um, made a Reaper mayo, which I'm gonna dip my fries in to taste it, and then I'm gonna do one half of the burger with just straight sauce, and then try the other half with a little bit of the Reaper mayo. Uh, just some of the ingredients before I get started is apple cider, sour cherry juice, onion, red wine vinegar, poblano peppers, pineapple, scorpion peppers, water, garlic, beets, Carolina reaper peppers, molasses, avocado, maple syrup, ginger, salt, white vinegar, seasonings, fruit, pectin, hibiscus, and other spices. So yeah, good, am good amount of peppers in there. Um, I think it's it's safe to safe to say that that's, that's going to be hot. Um, go ahead and have a start here with my regular just straight sauce side of my burger. Put just a good amount on there. That may be a little more than that. That was a little more than I was expecting, but we'll go ahead and give that a go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It is very, it is sweet. For just a second at the beginning. And then the heat comes. And I'm not sure if it's just where I, where the sauce hit me right on the tip of the tongue, but it's like right on the tip of my tongue. It is good though. Mixes very well with this. This is a, uh, 85-15 Angus steak burger um, with caramelized onions and Kobe Jack cheese. That's good. Not not too hot. I feel like I put a pretty good amount on there, but it's not not too hot. I'm gonna dip my fries in here first, then I'm gonna put some on the, the other half of the burger. I learned my lesson from last week. Did not put. This is not a 50-50 mixture like like last week was. It's not bad. I actually probably could use a little bit use a little bit more. Okay I put a little bit quite enough to give that a good a good mix. I don't want it to be like last week and be too hot. But I do want to have a have a good little kick to it. Let's see. I think it's pretty good. A little bit on there. I like this a lot. Again, it's another one of those ones where even though the Carolina Reaper is what is really bringing the heat, you don't really 
it has enough other ingredients in it that the it's not just straight pepper flavor. Now, there's three different peppers in it, plus other spices, and you really do just kind of get that that sweet cherry flavor, and then the heat comes a little bit after. Um, I'm gonna try some just straight on a on a fry. See if I can get a little bit more heat. Mixing with everything, I think I might be taking some of it away. I like that a lot. No, they're very good. Very good flavor. Not not overly spicy, but very, very tasty. So, finish up here, eat probably quite a bit more, and then I'll come back and give it an official score. So that was the Megalodon Carolina Reaper Hot Sauce from the Spicy Shark. Um, jump right into my, right into my ratings. I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, so for the flavor, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for flavor. Uh, like I said, a lot of, lot of really good ingredients in here, with, even with the three different types of peppers. Um, there is enough other stuff in it that you don't get. It's not just a straight pepper flavor. It does have a really, really good flavor. It does have that sweetness to it. Um, as far as intensity of the heat, to be a Reaper sauce, it was not quite as hot as I was expecting it. Um, my initial taste, I was thinking somewhere maybe around a four or a five. Um, and then the more of that I ate, eat a whole bunch of it, I think it might move up to maybe somewhere between a six and a seven, depending on how much you ate. Um, I put quite a bit on each side of my, my burger and finish it off, uh, finish off those fries with it too. Um, and it was... Had a good heat, but it wasn't wasn't overpowering heat. Uh, versatility, <clears throat> I think you could put it on just about anything. Like I said, they say burgers, grilled meats, seafood, eggs, any dish in need of flavor and heat. Um, I really liked it as that making that reaper that reaper mayo. I think that would be good on any any sandwich, any any burger, uh, anything like that. So I'll probably give it a nine for versatility. Um, and length of the burn didn't didn't burn for too long. I'd probably say less than less than five minutes. Um, so yeah, if you like spicy stuff, I would go with this one because it's hot without being without being too hot and does still have a good flavor. So that is my review for the spicy shark. Make sure that you like this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Find me on Instagram and on the Facebook and make sure you come back next week for another episode of That's Gonna Be Hot. Thanks for watching.